Hi Rick and Sharon, it's Ken. This is 68th Drive in Glendale. Nice quiet neighborhood. And uh, Mountain Ridge is, the high school is just north of here. The house looks like it's gonna need to be painted not right away. It looks like they've what they've done is they've kind of touched up the trim, the white part, probably because they were told to. But yeah, there's some there's some slight fading. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's some slight fading in the color. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it looks like they painted the wall, the block wall, and then they just kind of had overspray here. I don't know if it's going to need to be painted immediately. That depends on whether the HOA has reached out. This is something we can check on. And it looks like they had some kind of a repair or, I mean, that's the wood trim there. And then they've got a little piece of tin across there. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's just to keep it from, from rotting from the moisture as it runs off the drip edge. And it looks like someone hasn't been here to clean up recently. It's about time for the hedges to get, you know, trimmed and the grass to get cut. And you know, nothing's swept up, but I mean, it's, that doesn't mean the house is bad. It just means that whoever moved out doesn't have anybody to come in here and take care of that stuff for them. Um, just a little bit of a little nick in the door there. And all these little specks you see on the floor, that's nothing wrong with the floor. It's just debris. It's, somebody needs to sweep. Somebody just needs to come in and clean. This looks like a relatively new, if not brand new carpet in this room. And they have the vaulted ceilings. And I'm gonna point out a couple things, you know, like any home, they remove pictures and stuff. So they did the little touch up paint and the sheen never matches. So you can see the difference. a ceiling fan. This first room here, I'm assuming that one of these outlets should be for a lamp, but they don't seem to have a switch, so I'm not sure what's going on there either. There's no switch in here. And it looks like they may have been using this room as an office. It's got a telephone line in the closet there. Oh, and as I, I can tell here, it looks like, if you can see that outline right there, this was probably a French door and they enclosed it. That's why there's a little part where they overlap the trim. That's where the door used to extend to. And it's got a little shelf above. So the paint isn't, isn't great in here. It's not a bad color, it's just it's a lot of touch-ups here and there. So you could come in and put pictures back on the wall, that kind of thing, but probably eventually you're gonna wanna paint it. It's not like it's terrible right now, but eventually. Uh, I did notice this. I'm gonna get down a little lower. You can see that floor must have got wet. I don't know if you can see the reflection, but there's some, it's gonna need a little bit of repair right here. And that could turn out to be a difficult thing to do because this is an old cherry floor and it's hard to find cherry. Even though it's laminate, it's hard to find that color. There's a chandelier. I was hoping the house would be a little bit nicer. It's not terrible, but I was hoping it'd be a little bit nicer. And this is the regular old fashioned Corian countertops. 
So it's a solid surface. It's kind of thin. And uh, it's, in, it's in okay shape. It's just, it's not granite. It's not cultured marble. It's actually Corian. And then they did paint the cabinets. So this was one of those oak which was had a little bit of a heavy wood grain. So there's spots where you can see where the grain came through when they painted it. And then you can obviously, you can see the grain in the, in the doors. It doesn't look terrible, but there are just spots where that grain soaks in the paint so it doesn't completely cover. So when you get really close, you can see that. But standing back, it doesn't look terrible. Just want to make sure you know that. Actually, the paint job itself isn't bad. It, it would be very easy because it's relatively smooth. So they sprayed it. They didn't roll it or anything like that. But it would be conceivable to have somebody come in and do a professional second coat and they would probably look great. And it's not something that you would have to do immediately. But over time, if you decided you wanted to clean them up, you could do that. No fridge. Electric stove. And I'm gonna take a peek. It looks like this is just a wood burning fireplace. There is no gas to this fireplace. So we may or may not have gas. There's another example of the paint touch up. I don't know if they had the TV mounted to the wall and they just did a really bad job of patching the drywall holes and then the paint never matches. Oh, that's my shadow there, sorry. The paint never matches. So not a lot of, there's no updates in the home. This is pretty much, other than the new carpet, it's pretty much original. They may put this flooring in too. And it's vaulted ceilings throughout. And the floor looks fine. The, the laminate floor looks fine except for that one spot. One little section right there that must have got wet. Maybe they had a, a little water leak from the fridge water line, refrigerator water line. Same thing, they painted the cabinets. As you can see, that, that wood grain just soaks up the paint so it doesn't completely cover all the time. Tub shower combo, original gold trim. Looks like they did update the lights. And these are newer faucets. master. Again, this looks like new, new carpet. No smells or anything in the house. Everything's good there. And again, it's not super noticeable and you'll probably be putting pictures and things on the walls, but there are spots where the paint touch up doesn't quite match the texture. It's probably the same color. They just don't have the right sheen. And this is an original tile floor. A slight, slight, very, very slight pinkish hue to it. Mostly white. It's hard to tell in the video. That's why I wanted to let you know. Water closet. It's a walk-in closet, it's good size.
normal size shower. Looks like they used to have a wand and they took it off. Unfortunately, if you remove that, you're gonna have a couple holes, so you have to patch them with some kind of a culture marble patch or just leave that, leave that on there. And these are all just the original countertops. Same thing, painted. Now, when I keep showing you the close-ups where the paint, you know, soaks into the wood, when you stand back, it's not like this looks bad. I've seen hundreds of kitchens with the same cabinet, same paint, and it looks the same. There is one crack here, a very fine one. It's probably just because of some movement after the tile was laid. It's not a big one, and this tile's been here a while, just judging by the color, so I doubt that crack is going to get any worse than it is right there. I'll give you a closer look at it. And it's got one tile, two tiles, and then the third tile. This is something that the only way you can fix that, as I've said in other videos, is to pull that tile up. The problem is I guarantee you we're not going to find a match. So we'd be better off leaving that alone. And while this is nice and bright in here, it also gets a little warm in here. It's not hot, and they don't have the air conditioner in the house down real low right now but it's definitely going to be a few degrees warmer in this bathroom during the summertime. Although in the wintertime it'll probably be great because this face faces east, which means in the morning when it's cold in the winter, it'll be nice and warm in here. Got a little transom. And it's a good size little hallway. I put some lights up there. A little key drop in linen. And again, carpet's new. Here's a good example. Probably a kid's room with a bunch of posters and stuff on the wall. So it looks worse when you're seeing the light bounce off of it that way, but you can clearly see that the paint doesn't match perfectly. Well, this is definitely a kid's room because <laughs> there are spots all over where they had things on the walls. And there's a little repair on the door here. I don't know if you can see it with the gloss right there. So that, that door needs to be repainted just to make it all match. Okay. This one has, this room has a little bit larger closet. It's got three doors. Not quite as many touch-ups on the walls. Laundry room floor is just linoleum and it's pretty scuffed up from moving appliances. So these are actual scratches in the linoleum that you're seeing there. No washer dryer either. Three car garage. Got the side door and let's see if there's gas because this will tell us yeah I don't think there's any gas to this house so that's kind of a downer this is all I think it's all electric that uh, barbecue outside probably just got a propane tank
after I finish this video up, I'll check around side to see if there's a gas, a gas meter, but I kind of doubt it. And this is the only little patch of grass back here. They do have sprinklers here. So it wasn't by accident. Sometimes it just grows over the rocks. There's room for a dog run over there. Hmm. I'm not sure where the gas is coming from. And those palm trees are probably going to be getting close to needing to take down because <laughs> they're going to get big behind that fireplace. And the pool looks like it probably getting close to being need to redone. So this, this is kind of a downer. This is probably why the house hasn't sold yet. That's actually a crack in the plaster. That's, this is, I, I hate to say that, but this is gonna be like a 10,000, 10 to $15,000 redo. This, the, this one, it doesn't just need to be recoded, it needs to be redone. There's just too much, too deep of flaking on the plaster walls here. Oh, that's a shame. The, the tiles have been reinstalled a few places. So this pool just needs to be redone. 10 to 15,000 for that. So, oh, that's, that's a shame. I'm so sorry. I was hoping it would be a nicer home. It's a great area. Looks like they got a new AC system. Rudd is another very old name brand, very good. It's right up there with trains, carrier. see any leaking going on around the pool area this is a sand filter so it's got to be backwashed oh it looks like the uh, in floor cleaning system must have been repaired that's a gear set for it sitting over on the side underneath the panel so I'm sorry it's kind of a downer with the pool and no gas I know you guys don't want to spend top dollar on a house and then put another 15000 in it. I just walked myself right back into the pool area here. Okay. So that's, that's all we've got for now. And tomorrow we'll get over and take a look at that other home. That one's definitely going to be in better shape because it's, I think it was built in 2017 or 16. So it's a relatively new house. So I'll get back, get this back to you as soon as I get back. There's another area where we need to do some repair. Somebody just didn't take great care of this house. It's just been lived in but not maintained real well. So I'll get this over to you right away and you guys let me know if you have any questions on it. I'll talk to you soon.